Hey, Ginny from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's a, I would say a beautiful cloudy day. <laughs> it's cloudy up here a lot, especially this time of year. But uh, this is part of my Lumberjack Chronicles series and it's, I'm actually sitting right now, but after I've been working in the woods, I get ideas. And I wanted to share this before it went away. Cause you know, if you don't capture your ideas, they disappear. So, I'm watching a family movie last night. I wouldn't recommend watching it with your kids. It's inappropriate humor. But it was Deadpool 2. In an acronym, I wrote it down, and I have no idea why I wrote it down, until I was working in the woods, and it popped. I was like, okay, that's what was bothering me about it. And it was an acronym for FINE. Okay, and excuse my language, but it, it was fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional and this message can apply to almost anyone at first you know I just took it for the humor that it was you know it's like you know I'm fine you know when we women say that and we don't really mean it we mean that we're pissed off so but it popped in my head because I was thinking about a lot of things I was thinking about network marketing and the stigma that it has and the reputation it has from people just being over enthusiastic or people just having the wrong intentions and it's easy to attract those kinds of people because it's you know easy to get into those businesses super easy you know low some of them don't cost anything to get in some of them are really low cost i mean if you buy a domino's you you're like 80 i don't know how many th million thousands of dollars in debt and you don't earn it back until like five years later or more. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it's, I'm just saying, if you bought a brick and mortar business, it's entirely possible to be successful. And I know a lot of those people are successful, but they have to stick with it, right? And the same goes for us um, network marketers, trash marketers, whatever. But we have a bad rep and people go around and it's because they don't know what they're doing, or they've been taught wrong, or they are fine, and they already know how to do it, or they already know how to talk to people, and have already figured it out, but it's not, they're not fine at all, because if you're fine, by the acronym I just described, you got something to learn. So, I'm also applying this to my, to the teenagers who don't listen to their coaches, their parents, or any input from anyone because they think they're fine and they already know, right? The successful network marketers that think they already know it all and are already successful and don't, aren't continuing to grow and learn. For the parents that think that their parenting is perfect, which no parent is, and won't take criticism from coaches or parents, or they hide from it, you know? I mean, how many times have I seen, <laughs> oh, I, I wanna know if my kid is doing something bad, but then when you go tell them, they, they screw it up and deny it anyway. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, it's not fine, it's not fine at all. So these are my Lumberjack Chronicles. I'm perfectly honest on these and I look like crap, but I don't really care because the thoughts are there and I gotta share them. So here's the other thing. Um, in network marketing, we go around, we, we learn to use scrubs because nobody really knows how to communicate with people. I mean, I shouldn't say nobody. It's a hard thing to learn. Okay. It's a hard thing to learn. And I avoided the networking for a long time. I avoided going out with the scripts and just blowing it out there and talking to people. I avoided it forever. There's a valuable lesson in that. And... This one cracks me up. Okay, so I'm, I'm, you know, I promote weight loss supplements. And some people think that when I send a message out to them that I'm looking for fluffy people. <laughs> one of my teammates had a message like that. I know you're all, you guys are all out here looking at my, at our profiles thinking the fluff, fluffy people are the people you gotta talk to. Uh, no, actually, we are told to not even, I mean, even if you look skinny, mini, doesn't matter, send the message out because you never know who wants or needs the 
um, results of there's other results besides the weight loss that come with it. So if I've reached out to you and you think it's because I think you're fluffy, it's not. It's because you're on my friends list and I hadn't reached out to you. Period. I always appreciate an honest no because then I can cross you off the list and we're all done. We can move on. So anyway, so if you think you're fine and you're not, find a way to learn from the experience and move on. Don't be that neurotic, emotional, insecure person that takes offense to everything and everyone around them. Oh, and if you're a network marketer and someone is uh, prospecting you back, don't take offense to that either. They're just trying to do what you're doing, right? So make it a great day. That's another Lumberjack Chronicle. Talk to you later.